Hello, and in this video I want to share with you my experience on first photo shoot with the Paul Sibaf Lynx Lite. So overall, they perform well, I tell you up front. They have some nice surprises, some things that I was concerning. They are uh, showing me they had a little bit problem with this. But overall, I'm very, very happy with this product. So let's go ahead first, compare lighting. And one of the concerns for me was re uh, recycling time because people say they buy the papers, they take a slow on a 800 watt on full power, they take slow to recycle versus the Godox or other ones. And that is true, but you need to also understand that Godox going with about 600 watt or less, same like Einstein or other things. And this is a full power going 800 watt. When I put it side by side, Einstein set on maximum power output and a new links set to match uh, lighting output, power output of the Einstein. This one actually was recycling quite a bit faster. So you almost can go and continue the shooting, shooting and re recycle very, very fast. Um, however, on 800 watt on maximum power, it does was uncomfortably slow, sometimes take recycling. Um, but I don't see real reason if you're shooting in studio to use it 800, most of time you probably won't. And uh, if I used only 800, it's when I have it outdoors with a big crowd, need a lot of coverage, and then you may work around this. However, it wasn't as bad. It was a little bit slow, but not as bad. But if you're going behind a little bit off, it's you'll notice it's uh, the recycle quite a bit fast. The one thing for me was a little bit um, different from other ones. It is dial. So it was adjustment and you're going showing minus or it is try to say modeling light. I don't know, I don't think it's minus, but it was a little bit confusing interface. And you also can go zero, it's your full power. And after you do reduction. So I, I, I don't know what they come from, how the idea was. Personally, um, I'll say I prefer zero is off and 10 is maximum. So I, naturally when you work, you have an increased power, you increase number. This is logical. So for me, it was a little bit confusing. And this was a little bit different from other ones. Um, overall, a CD panel is big, nice, easy to read. Um, with a, Comparing, for example, with Einstein, and I won't compare with a, a white lighting or other ones or LNB because they just have its sliders. So for example, on LNB, you just have its slider right here. The only closest which have it maybe digital B or Einstein unit, which is have it screen. Problem with the Einstein screen is too small. And when you shoot, sometimes you need to come closer to look an adjustment. You cannot just look from far away and see what's going on. This is where um, benefit coming of this big LCD screen. When you're on a set or whatever and lights far away, you can just glance on this and see the settings. Um, also, I use a Cyber Commander, which have it out of box. I mean, you just set channel and it's working perfectly with this unit. So you can adjust everything, every property, so, which is very, very nice. I'm looking forward to try um, the new controller. But again, I'm using Canon cameras and they just only release Nikon. So for Canon is not yet dead. But one is out. I want to try TTL and other ones. I notice it show high speed sync on there, but it wasn't showing TTL for me. And I think that is needed pairing with a proper unit for that to enable. Um, other is also different was that I did not saw first. It is uh, missing of the temperature color. In many other ones, you have a temperature color of the flash you can set. Actually, I think on the Einstein, you can set temperature color in other ones. On this one, you don't. So they preset whatever they come with, which is not a big um, deal to me at all. I don't think I actually, with Einstein's, I don't think I ever set. I set that originally on daylight or the first, and I never modify the light again. And only the reason I can see people can modify, if they're going in an action or sport mode, and they need to compensate for some lighting shifting or anything, um, when you switch from color mode. However, in a, 
this slides the guarantee 0 0.5 of the color shifting so it won't be big deal in action and uh, in a sport and the color mode so probably that is the reason why also maybe uh, some in more electronic things simplified I don't know but I think that is a reason the next thing is also I noticed uh, it's quite a bit loud not the fan loud when it's actually a flash perform it's a have a very loud clicking noise I compare on same settings for example Wedstein white lighting and other ones this is definitely loud on this it's not big deal when you do it photo shoot at least it's give it message hey I just you have a shot or something um, but about as we speak about sound and lighting the internal fan is really quiet it's very quiet you can still slightly slightly hear but it's no comparison with some other brands who produce the only one I know who even quieter it is aperture and what is currently I'm using as my main line here it's a t120 I think and in a studio actually I was comparing lighting with a t120 and this LED and this is performed much visually brighter I don't know if it's related to some other things but it was actually work very very well okay so this is um, some small settings let's see uh, let me tell a couple things that I was expecting will maybe have it problems and they do little present but again those is very easy uh, confer configurable problems one of them if you don't tight this good because with the knob you can tight um, with handle when you lock if you don't lock properly it starts sogging and that's what happened to me if the very light flash it's will sogging on a bag because it's heavier however when I used with a PLM um, large PLM it was perfect I mean it was balanced very well so I do enjoy this and usually a uh, problem when you use it flashes like Einstein or other ones or LMB they're too small so if you put it very heavy modifier it's a huge load up front um, what I usually to do I have to modify it, I put my hand under and I'm using my hand to adjust modifier so I don't put load string on this camera on the flash with these ones it is bigger it's much easy to do it will be nice if they have it some small handle as well but without handle it's worked just as well um, nice surprise for me it was it's using gels and I ordered the set of the gels so it's all as different colors of the gels and um, I do like shoot um, cyberpunk neon punk theme photos and I build even big huge uh, set with neon lights and other things with model com with all the special effects and screens all this stuff and I usually or use it uh, constant light with a gel depending on how we're shooting or I use it flashlight the problem is using gels sometimes it's I don't see instant color and the gels start melting if you do too much shoot anyway it's problem so I was looking forward to test this and they perform stunning so they did it excellent color one thing I was worried about the color dissipation if they're not saturated enough color color was vivid nice saturated color um, I flush um, constant flushes give it full power on a light and everything they because it's silicone this is silicone they probably can put it inside the oven to bake things in they withstand color temperature very well and it wasn't heat up at all this unit did produce heat was warm on torch in some case maybe a little bit hot on torch but not uncomfortably hot so it was okay and I did run the unit with full um, LED power for a couple hours just to use it as my filming light as well so you can see on some examples where is how the lights is performed and I was switching with the gels some of them <laughs> a little bit worse combination than another but overall I can say it is they perform very well and it's definitely if you like to do this type of photography or one effect it's a must have it and I see in the future because um, whoever design this way to replace gels and everything in a policy buff they are just genius okay this is 
Very well done. I see how other companies probably will start copycatting them and producing similar things very, very soon because I hope the patent or they maybe get it from somewhere else, but it is, it's very nice, very easy to use. And replacing gels for me, it's a matter of the minute. Just open, put it in your gel, done, deal. The, yeah, I definitely must have. And if you have it modifier over, it's fit very well. So can I say it's no problem because when I use like PLMs and other things, you only need to put it inside special um, corner or other things, a modifier, and you need to put a gel on top of them with clipping. And it was a little bit hard because the light does not distribute it properly. So with these gels, you just put it inside, um, inside like soft light, soft box, whatever, parabolic, whatever you want it, and it will distribute it correctly without focusing in one area. So this is a must have options. So overall, um, the power of the lights, it was quite a bit nice. I don't know if I will use the 800 watts in the studio shoots when I have multiple heads setting, but it definitely will use probably if you have the, a large groups, maybe outdoor shooting, everything. But overall, um, it's definitely a good buy for those who using hybrid lighting, who want to go and uh, have the video and sometimes photos and doesn't want drug uh, multiple cases would happen with me sometimes. I need to bring separate LED lights. I need to bring separate uh, flashlight. And speak about bringing with you two of those lights side by side, okay, when we're putting cover on them, everything. Uh, so you put two lights inside, two batteries, and the charger. They perfectly fit in 5010 case from um, Pelican case, which is a, a carry-on case. So they fit just perfectly snuggle inside, which is kind of make me happy because I can reuse some of my cases. But otherwise, if you comparing the Godox versus uh, Lynx, it's, you know, brainless. <laughs> Lynx is definitely better than Godox. And uh, maybe some concern I hear about the battery life, how many flushes you can take it. Because with battery that you purchase if separately with a Link, you can take about 250 flush on full power. And if you go down to 600 watt to match Godox, you can go way more. I'm not yet tested this, but it's simple uh, math and logic. If you reduce power, you can take more images. And I bet they will probably go into about same amount, about 350, 400 shots, uh, because you reduce quite a bit power consumption on this one. But that one is probably I'll go test next with the batteries, see how well they perform, how long they will work with all those flushes. Um, overall, I think this right now almost the best light you can buy for the money it's offer. And thank you for watching this video. If you find it useful or whatever, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe button so you can see more videos coming and uh, let down other people. Thank you again and have a fun, nice day.